Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the farm. Uh, today, we're going to finish up swathing our hay. We just got a little bit left here. And then we're going to rake our outside rows and chop them. And then uh, we'll continue raking uh, for the rest of the video. So we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to get this swathing finished up. I did test the fermenting silos off camera and they work flawlessly. Uh, each one holds 50,000 liters so we can have a capacity of 100,000 liters just in the silos alone um, which I have a feeling that 100,000 liters should be plenty of silage but um, if nothing else we do have the two bunkers that we can fill if uh, necessary so we have plenty of room for silage. Uh, I'm not going to sell the dozer blade or the bucket just in case we do uh, end up making some silage in the <coughs> um, bunker. And besides, we'll need the bucket in the future anyways. So, um, might as well just keep it. We are about done here. Let's see, actually. We are done. Alright. So, we will take this. And we're just going to put it in the yard for now. Um, because we are going to swath more. We're just starting off with this. Uh, because of this upcoming weather. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was trying to figure out why my course play would not open, but I remember now it's because I have it set to left control delete. There we go. But as you can see, we have some weather that's uh, supposed to come in, so want to get this hay off the ground before that weather comes. So we'll just take this guy and pull him off right up here. Right. Whoa. We almost took out the porta potties. We're going to go ahead and shut our door. Okay. So now, um, I've got the 826 hooked up to the Vermeer rake. And then I brought over the 1175 and hooked it onto our chopper setup. Uh, so that way we are uh, ready to chop. Because we're going to do our end rows. Oh, man. We're going to do our end rows, and then we'll chop those, so that way we can, um, that way we can rake the rest of the field without any issues, hopefully anyways. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the thumbnail picture here. Not the worst. We'll just have to kind of see what uh, what we get for hay off of this. Hopefully, we can get quite a bit, and um, you know, we only have to do like this one field of silage or something. I mean, I guess I'm okay with doing a couple more fields of silage, but like to do as few as possible so that way we have more you know especially more so in the first cutting I guess of course we do have time to do other cuttings but um, you know, I'd like to do as little silage on this first cutting as possible making it making so that we 
making it so that we can have more ground to uh, bale this first cutting here. I don't know why I missed that a little bit. Oh well. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Saves kicking in already. So yeah, I am now running the timer on my phone instead of um, running the one on the computer because this way I don't have to keep tabbing to the desktop or anything like that. So um, it'll make it a little bit easier. Yeah, so I brought over the 1175. It's a bit more of a powerful tractor than this is. So it should be able to handle our chopper a little bit better, especially on some of these hills. Um, I did actually consider buying another tractor. Uh, maybe, you know, something like that case there. Uh, maybe just a tad bit bigger or something uh, to have over here to run our silage equipment and just to have a second tractor over here but uh, I think I think we'll be fine with just bringing over a tractor whenever we need one um, you know I just drove that tractor over here because the pickup was already over at this farm but uh, in the future we'll be able to just load up the tractor on the PJ and haul it over here now we're making some decent sized windrows here so I'm not going to TED this because it, you know, we're just making it for silage, but when we make our stuff to bale, we'll TED that. Uh, I think the way that I'll do that is I'll rake it first, and then we'll have, you know, fewer windrows to uh, TED, and that'll make that go by a little bit faster. Because I know the TEDing is going to take a little while to do, because uh, our tedder isn't very big. And we can only run seven miles an hour with it, so because it's only I mean it takes one windrow at a time. That's about all that we can do with it, so But it is it does uh it does work really nice. I have used it on a testing save game, so uh, I know that it works pretty pretty decently uh, which is always nice I'm not exactly sure why I missed that tiny little bit there missed it there too. Must just be the way that the ground is right there or something that it's not picking it up. But we can always just back the chopper up a few feet and move over and get it. Yeah, it's got to be something with the terrain that's causing it to do this. It seems to do it in spots where it's really, really unlevel and stuff. Boy, the tractor is definitely struggling. Yeah, so when I just, uh, yesterday when I tested out those fermenting silos, I um, bought the new in game New Holland self propelled chopper and then bought a trailer and then the grass mowing head and just mowed you know, I reset it over to the you know, to our main farm on this save game uh, but to that smaller farm that we're running out of and uh, I basically mowed my way to this farm and I did get you know I got a pretty decent distance uh, I wasn't too far away from this farm when I filled the trailer and uh, it was a 25,000 liter trailer, so it filled the silo halfway, right away, of course. But 
it uh, it worked perfectly. I dumped it, dumped the uh, chaff into there, or I guess it came out as grass, but uh, I dumped it into the fermenting silo and fast forward to time just a little bit and I had a pretty decent amount of silage uh, ready to go, so that was really nice. Uh, and you just gotta pull under the downspout and it dispenses the silage, so. There we go. Okay, so we can shut this rake off. And we are just going to pull it up over here. For now, we'll drop it down. Okay, so let's grab our 1175 here, and we will start picking up some of this grass. So we need to unfold that, unfold that. Perfect. So see how this thing handles. It handles these hills more so is what I'm worried about. is actually filling up relatively fast, so that is good. Uh, let's see, how much does this trailer hold again? Uh, let's take a look at that. 38,000 liters, so... I mean, it holds quite a bit, so... A little better than... Uh, three loads. Yeah, this thing is really filling fast, so we're going to get a lot of silage. So I think, I'm just trying to think if 100,000 liters will be enough. I think we'll fill both the fermenting silos, and we'll dump maybe two or three loads into the bunker, and then we'll call it good. Holy cow, is it smoking? It's definitely struggling a little bit on this hill. Yeah, so we're just about full already. We haven't even gone halfway around the field yet. So, I have a feeling that uh, silage will go pretty quick here. And then we'll be able to start bailing the rest of it. Of course, with weather moving in, bailing it means that as soon as we get done bailing we gotta move it off the field and get it under cover so and we're full already <laughs> if we can make it up this hill with this thing So we'll go through these gates and we'll get them opened up here. I don't know which way these open, so okay. I wanted to hang back a little bit, make sure they didn't open towards us. So now getting into these silos is going to be the tricky part. Now let's look here. Did I if we bring up the farming tablet? Okay, we did buy two of the apps, but we need to buy this one as well. So this is the fabric script uh, app. So this shows our two fermenting silos. Uh, silo one. So this holds fifty thousand, and then silo two also fifty thousand. So uh, we'll be able to tell from there how much silage we have 
and there are also digital meters on the uh, edges of the silos there that'll tell us as well. Uh, I don't believe that it'll tell us how much chaff is in there or grass. Uh, I don't think that there's one of those on here, but I could be wrong. Uh, there is a monitor there, so it might. So I guess, because we can only make it up to this one right now, this is the one that we're going to fill. So if we look, it should show, yeah, it'll show up right here. And if we look here, it'll also tell us, let's see, we're putting it into silo one. So we can see it filling up there as well. Pretty neat little mod, if you ask me. That uh, little tablet thing. So we'll be able to fill this trailer again and dump it in, dump some of it in here. And then we're going to have to get kind of creative to fill that back one. Even here, we're not as far over as we technically should be, but it's close enough. So then that will start making silage right away, and I actually, I think, it might, after we fill it full of chaff or grass, if it, when, once it all turns into silage, I think we might even be able to fill it again. That would be interesting, because then we could have 200,000 liters of silage between the two. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure that it actually works. But if it does, that would be totally awesome. Now, let's find where we left off here, right there. Yeah, even this thing is leaving little bits. Must not be able to pick them up. I don't know, maybe we just missed it, I guess. It's more so likely that I just missed it, but... So we may, may actually get a really decent amount of silage and bales just off of our first cutting of hay and we may not actually need to make uh, future cuttings or like extra cuttings of hay uh, we'll just cut you know multiple fields and we're already 30 percent full right now and we've barely even gone anywhere I think we might have to end up hooking this tractor onto, the, onto our baler. Um, and I am kind of curious, after we fill the silos, I am going to fast forward time a little bit. Just enough to make a little bit of silage and free up a little bit of space in the silo. And then we'll just try, because I know, you know, after we dump our next load in, we're going to still have quite a bit of chaff in this trailer. So... We'll fast forward time a little bit and then see if we can dump more in there. And if we can, then we'll fill both the silos and then we'll fast forward, you know, a couple hours or whatever we have to do to get it so that all of the grass is made into silage. And then we can continue going and fill up the, um, look how 80% are. And then we can fill up the silos again I am missing quite a bit here because of the way that that rake did this part of the field but it's okay I guess with as much as we're getting right now I am quite okay with leaving a little bit alright off for another load So this is where we'll find out um, what's going to happen. Okay, so we still got 10 minutes left. So we got plenty of time to figure stuff out yet. So I don't even know if we're going to be able to rake all of our end rows before we fill these silos we haven't even finished one row and we're gonna fill one silo 
but it will help if we can uh, if we can fill it again that will also help us out Ooh, I got a little close to that fence there for my liking okay so now we'll let this fill up and 50,000 so now if we take a look at this it's already made a little bit of silage so let's go over here and we're going to just put our time scale up a little bit we'll go one more so now let's see this is cool it is okay So that is going to work perfectly. I'm wondering what this monitor back here does. Oh, it shows us... Okay, it shows us what's in there. Okay, so we'll let that one ferment. And while that one ferments, we are going to attempt to back this thing up without jackknifing it miserably. And we're going to fill this other silo. Okay, so not the best uh, to get into it but it works so we're just gonna let our time keep going until this one is done it's already done over 10,000 liters of silage uh, 17,500 to be exact <laughs> um, so both of these are gonna continue running and then we can keep making some silage uh oh here comes our weather this might not be good. Yep. Uh oh. We gotta get out of this. Okay, we gotta do it this way here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so our silos. Oops. Let's hop out here and look at our silos. What do we got? So this one is just about done making silage um, we're gonna put our time scale up it's the other one that is out of silage or out of grass and stuff but this one will be full here in a moment okay so that one's full it has 7500 liters left in it and this one's made a little bit of silage so we can um, go ahead and fill those both up now Hopefully our hay didn't lose too much of its uh, volume and stuff, otherwise, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that awful because our silage is already yielding ginormously, so if it lost a little bit of its volume, it wouldn't be that awful, because there's always the next field, and we know that one will be the same as this because that one hasn't been cut yet and hasn't been rained on or anything except that was actually some hail uh, which is not very good thankfully our crop is not above the ground yet <coughs> it is still uh, still underground so that helps a little bit don't have to worry about it ruining our crop look at this we haven't even gone you know like a hundred feet and we're already a quarter of the way full this is insane hopefully we get quite a few bales off of here I mean I know that we will get quite a few bales but I mean a lot of bales so then um, when we're filling the silos uh, I'm sure that there will still be some grass left in this wagon after we're done you know filling those silos twice so anything that's left in this thing I will just leave in the wagon and then later on when we start feeding our cows and stuff and we um, 
you know, free up a little bit more space because we've made more silage, then I'll go ahead and dump, you know, the little remaining bit of grass into the silo. Uh, but until then, until there's space in the silos again, I'll just leave it in this. That'll be, it'll be just fine. It's got a cover on it, and so, no, I'm not too worried about it getting ruined or anything. full again. So we'll just go over to this other entrance again. Just because it's a little bit easier to get in and out of to uh, where we're going. So we have all of this grass in the yard too that we can cut. You know, these little patches here and all that area over there there is plenty of grass to cut plus there's other farms that we can cut by so uh, I am not at all worried about running out of grass to cut uh, especially because we can just fast forward you know a day and all of our grass will be regrown I think it, it's either a day or two days something like that so we'll go ahead and we'll uh, fill this silo up again and uh, so that one's empty and it has 18,500 liters of silage in it so far and then this one is full of silage and it's going to be close to three quarter of the way full of uh, grass. Let's just take a look here. Yep. It's over 80% full of grass, actually. Alright, so we only have room for another 4,500 liters of silage in, or grass, excuse me, in this silo. And then we can fill the other one. If only there was maybe like two more silos. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be kind of nice. We could have uh, 300 or even 400,000 liters of silage, and we wouldn't have to do silage for maybe two years or something, or a year. It would be quite a while, that's for sure, which would be nice, because then we'd have even more ground for hay, uh, or to bale, I guess I should say. We are making haylage off of this. I think that's what you would call it anyways. I don't know. Different places have different ways of uh, saying things, different names for things. So, I guess here we'd just call it silage. Because that's basically what it is. Or it's what it's going to be, what it's becoming. I don't know. However you would want to put that. So for having gotten uh, moisture on it, this grass is uh, still doing really, really well. Yeah, I really can't chop in cab. It's kind of hard to see where I'm going. Doesn't help there's a big splotch of dirt on the windshield right where I need to see. That helps totally. We are missing bits and pieces, but I'm not gonna get too worried about it. There's plenty more, plenty more where this came from, I guess. I mean, we're gonna have 200,000 liters, and not even, you know, maybe have two rounds done around this field. So, I mean, there's a lot more grass cut in this field that we need to pick up yet so and then in the future when we you know build our way up a little more and buy like a self-propelled 
chopper and stuff. We probably will just stick to uh, making corn silage, but all right. So we are full again, and we are uh, at our half hour mark. So I think what I will do, oh boy, I think what I'll do is off camera I will finish filling these fermenting silos, and then I will finish raking this field, uh, or like pretty close to it anyways. Uh, I am going to have to rake this pass and bale it so that way I can rake uh, these uh, let's see those would be what north south passes so um, I will rake that and bale that up and then whatever you know if there's any end row left uh, that you know I don't make into silage then I will bale that as well but then uh, in tomorrow's video we'll finish up the raking uh, and then we'll get started on baling and we will be using most likely be using this tractor to bale as well so uh, we'll do that but that is going to do it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see whoa be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.